Hi, my name is Courtney Donahue, and today we will be making wheat paste. So wheat paste is a very easy, inexpensive, homemade, and non-toxic adhesive. Um, it's great for a lot of paper projects, collages, bookbinding, as well as any outdoor use on surfaces such as like concrete or wood. Um, it's very durable, but it is non-toxic. So for today, you will need a whisk, a measuring cup, we'll get to amounts later, um, an old brush, some water, flour, a saucepan, and a stovetop. You'll also need a lidded container and any images, prints, paper, whatever you want to paste. So to begin, we are going to use half a cup of flour and put that in our saucepan. And you can adjust this amount to anything. Um, you can adjust this to any amount that you need. All I'm following is a very simple one to four ratio. So it's one part flour to four parts water. So I've got half a cup of flour in here and two cups of water. But like I said, you can change that to any amount. Just stick to that ratio. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna whisk this together over about medium low heat. We don't wanna bring this up to a boil um, we want to keep it at a low simmer until the flour is all dissolved and we're going to cook it depending on how hot your stovetop is um, for about 10 to 20 minutes, shooting for about 15 minutes. And what we're looking for is that this mixture is going to thicken up. Um, we see right now it's pretty much just water, um, but it's going to get to a point a little thinner than store-bought white glue. That's kind of what we're going for. Um, what we want is if we stick the back of a spoon in it and then run our finger across that spoon, we want that um, line to stay there. So just mix this up until we get to about this consistency here. As we can see here, it doesn't stream off the whisk like um, a really watery liquid does. It kind of globs off, and that's what we're going for. So once you've cooked your mixture for about 10 to 20 minutes, uh, transfer it to a sealed, a lidded container, and you can keep it in the fridge for about a week. I wouldn't recommend making a huge batch and then storing it for a long time. Only really make as much as you need and then use it up right away. Otherwise, it'll kind of start to go bad. So it can keep in the fridge for about a week to 10 days. And once your uh, wheat paste is cooled and ready to use, um, you just brush it on to your prints or images and apply it to any surface that you wish. And so now we're going to do that on the outside of the Rourke. So we're outside of the Rourke here and I'm going to paste up a few little butterfly prints that I have. So up here, as you can see, we've already got some, these are milkweed plants. Um, they're silk screens that I've already wheat pasted out here on the brick. And these little butterflies are just photocopies of uh, screen prints that I have made before this. So, we're gonna take our wheat paste and apply a layer to our surface with an old brush, um, one that you really don't mind getting sticky and gluey. Be generous in your coating. And notice I'm kind of hitting a general area. I'm not really trying to be exact about edges or anything like that. And then I'm just gonna place my print and make sure it's stuck with my fingers. And then I'm gonna get some excess off of my brush and I'm gonna paint a layer over the top.
again, I'm not being super conscious of edges here. Um, it'll dry up. So again, I think I'm going to put another one up over here. So just get a good layer down. And apply your paper. If you were doing this on a surface like wood or you were doing a collage or something in book binding, I would recommend taking a spoon or a bone folder and burnishing, but I'm just using my fingers since we're outside. Another layer on top. And you're done. If you're doing a project inside, like I said, with collage or with book binding, um, just wait for it to dry. I would give it at least an hour and a half to be fully, fully dried and not tacky anymore. But as soon as your wheat paste is dry, you're done.